trial and error. It is something city officials say can happen when it comes to things like emergency alerts. That's designed to keep you informed. WMBF News reporter Samuel Shelton takes a look at how the Myrtle Beach Emergency Management Department is working to change the way they communicate with you. Whether it's a change in the flow of traffic or things like a water boil advisory, the Myrtle Beach Alerts is all about being able to reach you quickly and efficiently. Now is a perfect time to remind folks that um, this is a system that we use during times of emergency. You may remember six months ago, Myrtle Beach Emergency Management launched their alert notifications. From severe weather or serious threats, Emergency Management Assistant Dana Rush says is benefiting you when you need it most. And probably about a month after we launched it, uh, we were able to use it to effectively notify the community of a dangerous barricade situation. Um, in one of our communities within the city. And you can find this QR code to sign up in several different ways. After completing this form, you can opt in for the notifications you wish to receive. Things that um, we could improve on is just customizing this um, alert system to the city of Myrtle Beach so that you know that when you're signing up for it that it is specific to the city um, for our residents and our business owners. Since the system launched, Rush says only 5,000 Myrtle Beach residents signed up. Partner agencies like the Myrtle Beach Fire Department says alerts have been beneficial for severe weather like Hurricane Ian, but say the hardest part is getting the word out. For us it's always about uh, getting information out about the information system. So, you know, how would we go about that, whether it's by social media, local news, uh, billboards, whatever it is. We, we're looking at all different types of campaigns and ways to get the information out. Rush says one new strategy in place is revamping the alert system with the new name of Myrtle Beach Alerts powered by Regroup. She says this will help clarify alerts specifically for Myrtle Beach residents, but says you won't get an alert every day. If you do see police at the end of your street, that doesn't necessarily mean you're going to get a message about that. But if we we need to reach you in times of um, real emergency where we need to let folks know to maybe avoid that area altogether. Um, that is when you would receive that message. Rush says right now the department will move forward with changing the name of the alerts from Regroup to Myrtle Beach Alerts powered by Regroup and is actively looking for ways to keep improving. In Myrtle Beach, Samuel Shelton, WMBF News.